here's a here it is man, ladies and gentlemen I just did this game on Typhon Peaks and I want to show it to you I will cast this game I it is not a super high intense action back and forth game but it is a good bit of fun all right so here I am I am of course your gracious host Jamin and I am in the red Terran I did choose Terran I normally play random but I wanted to do some things and I wanted to try out some things with Terran so I am now I, pl I chose Terran for this is, is on the ladder I do not know who this person is and this is niche in the bottom right corner of the map and he is playing as Zerg the ever disgusting slimy disgusting Zerg I remember as a kid when I uh, uh, we played Starcraft 1 I was I was appalled by how the, the Zerg would mutate their hive. I remember seeing the hive grow and being like, ooh, ooh, I was grossed out by it. I was so, it was, ew. I was so young, though. I, I was like, what, I mean, like 10, maybe? Um, so, anyway, here we are with uh, uh, a classic Terran versus Zerg, humans versus the aliens. Great uh, match. Um, super high speed, extremely um, spoilered. So, you didn't see that on the right there. We didn't, we didn't watch that. Um, can we go faster? Does that make it? Is that going faster? That's forward I'm hitting. Is that doing it? Oh, I can't go forward. I don't know how you speed up the replay. Numpad plus. There you go. Okay, so I can go a little bit faster. Alright, we can we can speed past this part. There we go. And I am doing the classic wall off scout in the wrong direction technique. And he is doing the classic spawning pool on 14 and etc. etc. Nothing too fancy here. And, uh, yeah, scouting the wrong way. All good. Overlord's flying around, goofing up. He is not expanding now. Apparently he's going to go for some kind of all-in. Is he? I don't know. Um, normally you'll see a, you'll, you'll see a, if you, with no gas, you'd normally see a, a pool. Oh, uh, that's what he did. He, um, he didn't send the drone till, uh, till he had 300 minerals. So there's his expansion going down at the three minute mark. Not too bad. He's still fine. I play platinum level, so this is not the most amazing game in the world. But it did highlight some pretty awesomeness that I was I was pretty excited about when I did this game. Um, I, this is my mindset going into this game is uh, just a spoiler alert. Turn off mute for the next five seconds if you don't want to hear um, what I'm going to say. Uh, it's going to involve what units I get. Boom, 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 boom. Mute now. I'm going to get ghosts. That was my idea. Three, four, five. Hopefully you muted. I don't know, but does it matter? Not really, because this is just me playing, and who cares, right? All right, so we're going faster. I scout the expo, scout the awesome, and I'm like, oh, okay, here we go, faster. Keep, come on, let's go really fast. Eight times eight speed. We don't want to waste all your time today. So he's going. Let's go to the protection tab. Tech lab, Ghost Academy coming out around the five minute mark. He's got two spine crawlers going down because he's not sure what I'm doing. And then, of course, he's going to keep going. Fetch, 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 fetch. He does send one drone in to check out what's going on. And upon seeing all the Marines, he decides to go for a Baneling Nest and an Evo Chamber. Because he doesn't know what I'm doing. So, he's going to get an Evo Chamber. And this is no. We're going to go faster. We're going to keep speeding up. Back to faster. There we go. Back to the action. All right, so some Zerglings coming in. My marines are nicely spread out. Did we get one? Nope, no zerglings. I did notice, though, that there were a lot of zerglings on the field, and I thought, well, that's a lot of zerglings. So I immediately start getting my first ghost. Because, this is the thing here, I was trying to get zerglings to avoid baneling busts. And I do scan there. There's the scan, like a boss. And, uh, of course, still. Let's see the APM in this game. Oh, yeah. Mm. 75 APM. Managing base. Yeah. And uh, I have awesome hotkeys, you know, just orbital command to anything that's not on a hotkey. And there's my ever-present ghost ready for those banelings. And there's his banelings. Ready. I got the ghost right. How, much, how many snipes could I get off? I could get off, let's see, two snipes right now. I could kill two banelings, and he would have one left. So that's, or three left. That's not bad. Two left. Whatever. So I got the bunker up behind. You know, I figured if they're going to bust this down, I can... And really mess with them. So he's really saving up the banelings here. Does not want to miss. He realized he must be going ghost. Does he know I'm going ghost? Did he ever scout that? Yeah, he did. He scouted the ghost. So 
I don't know if he knows that ghosts are good at sniping banelings or, or what, but I do have a ghost academy, and he did scout it. I actually thought about the placement here, since he's on this side. I thought, maybe I should place my ghost academy over here somewhere, but uh, I guess I, I didn't decide to do that. So, two ghosts, different sides of the map. Figure if he's going to bust one of these, he's not going to kill all my ghosts. Spread out the marines, so when the zerglings flood in, I'm okay. Got two ba barracks back, bunkers back here. And, uh, you know, I have this expansion up. I need to expand. Whatever the hell is down here, I need to expand. So, let's move out. Snipes. He's terrified. Oh, my gosh. Did ban my banelings just get sniped? And he is like, oh, oh my, OMG. My banelings just got sniped. And I'm like, oh, I'm a boss. Kill your banelings. I felt really pro at that moment. So, let's go back to the production tab. Speed this up a bit, because it's not all that exciting. I am building an awesome uh, self. This is what I'm doing. So he's gonna come in. He's like, "Oh, you you want to snipe my banelings? I'm gonna make a hundred banelings." Twelve banelings. So he's got, got fifteen banelings on the field, and I've field, and I've got six ghosts with uh, uh, quite a lot of energy. They could snipe quite a bit. And I see those zerglings coming. I know. These marines are not a good counter to banelings, um, and he's gonna run in down here. Tons of banelings. Still on production tab. Now he's getting a roach ward. Still no lair. Uh, me and him are both terrible at macro. You'll see our uh, our we get supply. I don't know if he gets supply block, but I definitely get supply blocked a couple times. And here comes some banelings with zergling speed. I have the engineering bay to block the run around. Look at that. Look at that pro engineering bay. I don't know what I'm sniping. I'm just sniping all my things. And uh, there you go. There's. Um, well, he's not supply block now, but that was 20 banelings attacking or a, uh, a bunker and a bunch of marines in the back. What's great about ghosts is they have 100 health and they're biological psionic, so you don't have to um, worry about. Uh, ghost as much and obviously this isn't the highest level of play but it is it is a good showcase for ghosts i did really enjoy playing with ghosts and uh we'll see some more here so he's going roaches now and um i'm just going marine ghost and i do get a nuke but i don't think i ever launch it just to spoil it more spoilers sorry uh, plus one attack and then i get this uh awesome medevac loaded up somewhere where is it where'd it go i swear i just heard a medevac load up where Okay, we're just going to keep going. And there's the medevac, the first one popping out. And uh, I'm going to expand. And he does take the time to kill all these rocks. I get Hellions with Blue Flame. I think I got Siege as well. Did I get Siege? No, I didn't. Alright, Blue Flame, Hellions, medevacs. And some normal, need to keep up the speed. Come on. So... He's working on these rocks. I'm just going to my I do see him breaking down these rocks, and I stop him. All right, he breaks them down, but whatever. So I get my expansion up. No guys really mining here. Tons of guys mining here. That was nice. I love snipe. I still have tons of snipe left. Um, I mean, it's 45 damage, ignores armor. It just does so much damage to the enemy. And of course, I still have those meta medevacs dropping my ghosts back. How many ghosts do I have now? I have 14 ghosts and 50 marines pushing out for the kill. A couple SCVs in there, because I don't feel like sending them back. And I don't really care. <laughs> now I pretty much got this game more killing those two huge waves. Sending more bad rally points, sending marines. Oh, 
Mr. Ghost. There you go. So, he's got seven roaches and two queens, and I've got 57 marines and 14 ghosts. I don't know if at any point I probably could have just moved out and killed him um, after I got the first kill with all those, but I was terrified. And I do have 15 ghosts on the field now. Mr. 15 over here, hanging out. Let's see how these. They do have plus one attack. No stamina. Awesome game here with all those infestors. Did he have a. Where is it? He, oh, he didn't have pathogen plants. And there you go. Ghosts. I felt really good about that game. I just felt like I thought I should share it with you guys. And uh, uh, tell me what you think. Do you want to see more replays of me? Uh, definitely send me replays that you did that I'm going to cast. They're a lot more exciting, probably. Um, if they're exciting and I cast them, I'll put them on my channel. If you guys like that, cool. Um, and uh, definitely check out more StarCraft. If you guys know any places I can get great replays from, um, tell me what's up, and uh, I'll be happy to do it. So yeah. That is that. And uh, as always, stay classy.